I've always been looking for a place of my own and to start my life over again. I did not, did not veer in the right direction. I kind of let everything go. I kind of let my good habits go, my job go. I let go of everything, every single thing I've owned. My cars, the stereos, the computers, my hobbies, the fishing, the, everything went out the window. And so when I found myself picking myself up out of my, my troubles, I thought that I would be back on track in a few years. I thought it would take me two or three years and I'd get my own self back. And it was taking an extra time, extra time. And I needed something to change from the inside and from the outside as well. People don't realize just how hard it is to get back on your feet when you have no money. When, when the tiniest little thing happens to someone, they get in their car, they grab five, they grab ten bucks, they, they go take care of it. But someone that's poor that loses their say their ID, that doesn't have a ride, that doesn't have anything or anything, it can be the simplest little thing can take days. And that's not eating. You're not even making money for food. You got nowhere. You got nothing. It takes forever. A little thing for someone that has money that hasn't walked through the path that I have doesn't understand that, doesn't understand that. So instead of just like donating money to, to organizations, I said, when I make money, I'll help, I'll help. I found a way to help. I was raised in an environment where uh, you put other people ahead of yourself. And uh, I've uh, always believed that you need to take the needs of other people into account. Gardening was always in the back of my mind uh, as something that I really have always enjoyed and might be a fun retirement project. But um, it was pretty far off in the future until I had met Isabel. And uh, Isabel was looking for something to do for a job. And so it seemed like the perfect opportunity to uh, just try gardening uh, on the property and see how it worked out. We started off as market gardeners. So we were selling our vegetables at both markets, the Algoma market and the mill market. And we got the idea for this uh, food bank farming to help, to, to help people who uh, don't have uh, access to nutritious food. We got this idea through market gardening. When we first started out, we didn't have a proper fridge, so no way to properly store the fresh produce. So we, uh, at the end of every day, we would donate a lot of it. And we noticed that uh, it made a big impact, it made a significant impact. So we decided to do that every time we sold food at the market. It took off and uh, other farmers at the mill market actually donated their leftovers. And uh, it ended up filling van after van full of uh, produce, so it was a really good Really good idea. There's some here. This one's got a beautiful shape. Beautiful Ooh. shape. Isn't it? That's cool. When you dry them properly and you uh, varnish them, you empty the seeds out, it lasts about 80 years. Isabel brings a lot of uh, humor and fun to the farm. Um, and she's an incredibly dedicated person. When, uh, when we were market gardening, there was just the two of us. She would put in 12, 14 hour long days working sometimes sunrise to sunset, not taking hardly a break at all, uh, and doing what was necessary to, to make the farm work. And without her, we wouldn't have, uh, we wouldn't have had any success. It did help, help me get back on my feet, not worry so much about my past, not really, you know, get back into some, just wasting my time, <laughs> really. So he found a way for me to actually be occupied, you know, in a productive way. It's a cooperation, eh? He'll do his part, I do my part. He works as hard as I do, that's for sure. We work back and forth to make this happen. When I go to work at supper time, he comes back from work, he's working out in the field. I spend as much time as I can outside of work here, and he spends as much time as he can outside of work here as well. So with the romaine I'm doing right now, right? Well, it won't take that long. Now that we have more volunteers coming to the farm, and it's wonderful to have volunteers coming out to help, Isabel uh, is, is pretty good at guiding people on, on the work that needs to be done and, and uh, taking care of things during the day while I'm at work and then in the evening so I can, can kind of pick up and continue on. So it's working really quite well. It's fast, it's amazing. Like things grow so fast and things change so fast. Like a, a zucchini can grow that much overnight. An eggplant inside of three days can, can double in size almost. 
some things can start wilting overnight. Romaine lettuce is tricky. If it's ready, you got to take it out. Broccoli, if it gets too hot, it can be ruined. So it needs to be harvested and put in the fridge in order for it to, to stay good. The garden has really been very productive over the summer. And we're at the point in time where we're, we're very busy harvesting a lot of vegetables. So we uh, have crews of volunteers that come out primarily on the weekend, but a little bit through the week as well. And, and when we have our groups of volunteers out, we're harvesting vegetables, uh, packing them up, washing them, and putting them into the cool storage. I built a, a small walk-in refrigerator in the barn and we place everything that we harvest into the refrigerator. And we'll keep it there until uh, it's needed in town uh, for delivery to the soup kitchen. Cabbage! We load up the van in the morning uh, almost every day of the week. We'll uh, do a small delivery. We try not to over deliver because uh, we want to give the food out in the highest quality as possible. And so we, uh, we don't want it sitting around for a long time before it gets distributed to people who need it. Um, people pick up the food when they come into the soup kitchen at lunchtime. They work from the heart. They work from the heart. Because we see them here, they come here rain or shine, it doesn't matter to them. They're always here to help us out. And as, as we've seen today, they all line in, in, stand in line and they wait to do their shopping with their vegetables, all waiting for to get their bag full of vegetables to take home. And it's not only for them, they're bringing some home to their children so that they could have a healthy meal. And, and I think, uh, and I, I thank them every day. I've been here 22 years. When I first started coming here, I actually needed the services. And I really, don't need the items or the food much anymore. I come for coffee, spend time with my friends. It's my way to give back for them giving to me when I first started coming around here. And that's invaluable. I thank you so much for using you and your organization to bring the vegetables here. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure. A lot of people. It benefits a lot of people. It benefits even myself. Like I have a family of five and uh, I like the fresh vegetables as much as I can because it's very expensive. When you turn around and you buy the vegetables every day, it gets very pricey and it only lasts for so long and then it goes bad. So you try to stretch it as far as you can when you have a family of five and they enjoy it. The fresh vegetables are free for everybody to take that walks into the building, whether it be uh, you know, somebody that's coming in for lunch or if the agencies are coming in to get items downstairs for a client. We encourage them to grab the fresh produce also and work it into their diets because some of them are diabetics and such and they need that produce. I uh, appreciate what Isabella does for everybody. If it wasn't for her, who knows what will happen. And I'm glad that she decided to uh, do this vegetable thing for everybody. She's awesome, amazing. All the people that donate their time to this is, uh, is wonderful. But yeah, Colin and I are the ones that actually make this run. It's the heart and soul of this place. We are the heart and soul of this place. Of course he donates his land. That's a wonderful thing. And I, don't, I donate my time. That's a wonderful thing. It's a commitment. And there's a lot of sacrifice. A lot of sacrifice. Personal, physical <laughs> sacrifice. Yeah, see that's the flower for the birdhouse gourds. That's the flower. Summer. A whole bunch of white flowers. It's slowing down. It's early September now, and I've been working really hard all summer. So in many ways, I'm really tired. And the idea of getting a few weeks break from this, once the snow comes, is pretty appealing to me right now. Um, but at the same time, I keep getting little circumstances that keep me motivated. The other day I was walking through the parking lot at the shopping mall, and a person came up and just out of the blue, I didn't even know this person, but he, he came up and he says, you're the guy that donates all the food. And uh, I said, yeah. And he said, I wanna thank you because I get that food. That kind of thing is touching. I, need, I, I know what poverty is. I walked into poverty for years and years and I've had to use soup kitchens and food banks. I know how hard it is to be poor. I know how hard it is. I know. 
I found a way to help by providing food. And I wish every city had this. Gardening is exciting. It's fun. It's great. You know, it's, it's a great hobby. So I wish this, this model would be copied in many parts of Canada. I would, like, I would like every town to have something like this. Absolutely. It comes from my motivation, my generosity, my kind spirit. I've got some, some way to, to apply it now, you know. Colin's the same way. It's the same way. He wants to help. The other thing that's kind of nice this year now is the United Way has started a, a new undertaking called Harvest Algoma. And they're on second line. And if we have a surplus of food, which we have this year, we're able to take food there and they do processing of the food, uh, storing things frozen uh, for use later in the year, which is a really nice addition, a really welcome addition to how things are done. Because in the past, we were really only able to produce food in the growing season. But now, through the efforts of uh, Harvest Algoma, we're able to deliver food year round. I think it's time to give back. It's time to give back because I can and I'm energetic and I want to and it's wonderful. It, it pays to, to give back. It really pays to give back. Colin's got the same attitude, same spirit. So that's great. Thank you. <laughs>